Which is almost, it's all the, all the harm, chord harmonies are played using harmonics there. Um, and of course, the, the bass notes are fretted with the left hand. So let's have a look at some of those hard harmonic con concepts. Basically, one thing that uh, is really useful if you don't know it already um, between the second and fifth fret on the bass guitar you have just about all the harmonics you could need to build chords with um, let's take a look at that okay so This might sound familiar to you if you listen to that. I'm playing the harmonics just by lightly touching the strings on the fifth. It has to be on the metal fret, not in the middle where the where the dot is, but on the actual metal fret. I'm just touching the fifth fret very lightly. Fourth fret, third fret, second fret. Let's focus on the fifth between the fifth and third fret. to you? Yeah, I thought so. It's a trad. There you go. That's the same as playing A, C sharp, E, the major trad of A. So there you go. The notes you get between the third, the fifth and third fret in harmonics consecutively on one string give you the triad. This is true for all strings. So that's very useful when you want to build a chord. So for example, you know that on the G string, the <clears throat> G, B, D. Now my first chord of that piece is a G. And what I'm doing there is I'm playing G, D harmonic on the D string 5th fret, And then that, that is a B, which gives you the... So you've got the root, fifth, third, okay, and that gives you a G major triad, right? G, D, B instead of G, B, D. It's inverted. Yeah. So that's the first chord. Then it moves up to an A. And the harmonics on that I'm playing consecutively on the C string, 5th fret, on the G string, 4th fret, on the D string, 3rd fret. So that means that's a C, B, and then this is uh, A. So that gives you an A minor 9. And then I'm playing an open E, and I'm playing the 5th fret of the D string, and then the 5th fret of the G string, and back again, repeat that, and then play the 3rd fret of the G string. So that's effectively giving you um, D, G, E, D, G, D, G, D, the octave of D, E minor 7. 
then goes back to the G. Then it goes to an A minor again, but this time it's not a nine because I'm playing I'm playing the uh, A open and the third fret of the G string, which will give me a D, and then the C fifth fret of the C string. So that gives you a sus, A sus, right, because you've got the D there. And then that resolves up to a C. And then the last chord, the C. Voicing the C on the third fret. And you're playing uh, D harmonic on the fifth fret of the D string. D G harmonic on the on the fifth fret of the G string. Going back to the E. Then lowering that one note, so D, F sharp. So what you're playing there effectively is a C major with a raise at 11, right? Okay, gives you that beautiful open sound. The F sharp in there. So there you go. So there you go, you could have fun with those harmonic chord concepts. Of course, you know, uh, Victor Wooden and Steve Bailey and all those guys do amazing stuff with harmonics. Um, so if you haven't seen them already, I rec recommend you check them out. Um, very cool. Okay, have fun. See you for the next lesson.